Greetings, everyone. Well, hope everyone had a good weekend. I've been busy with work and stuff and watching lots of DVDs and Blu-rays, which I'll probably be talking about in upcoming videos. For now, however, it's package opening time. Yes, ooh, dramatic shadows. I actually moved the lights around a little bit just because, I don't know, mix it up a bit. Uh, also, I find with the lights where they are now, you don't get quite as much glare on the back shelf there. Just kind of, you know, a little, little better. Anyway, uh, yeah, package opening time. This one is from Neil, a fellow Canadian from Alberta. I don't recall his YouTube username. We'll try to find that out when we're doing the editing. If I found out by this point, which... Hopefully I have. It's this guy. Check out his YouTube page right there. If there's nothing there, then I never found out who it was. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, without any further ado, let us see what Neil from Alberta sent today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Alrighty, well, I don't know what it is. Shall we open it and find out? Do let's. Um, gray scissors, because, you know, interesting stories don't have just black and white, good and evil. They have gray scissors. Alright, that was really cheesy and random. So... Yeah, some of you wonder why I haven't been saying box cutter activated in the latest batch of package openings. Well, that's because most of them haven't been in boxes. They've been in bubble envelopes like this. So I'm going to say bubble envelope cutter activated. Alrighty, so without looking, let's... Oh, there's, there's actually a few things in here. Okay. Oh, there is a note. Let's take a look. <laughs> Sean! Is there an Isaac? A second. Neil Murray Gray. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping he'd put the YouTube username. I always try to mention to anybody who uh, is planning to send me packages, please tell me your YouTube username somewhere in the package, either on the package or in a letter or something, just so I know and I can give you proper credit. Of course. Okay. So we will not take a look at that just yet. We will take a look at the goodies first. Just in case there's spoilers in the letter, I like to leave it. Alrighty, so let's see what we got here. Not Gilliam. Oh, I think I know. Yeah, I, I think I remember um, the, the messages that Neil sent me uh, before. Uh, some specific things he wanted to send me. He didn't tell me what they were. He just kind of gave me some tantalizing hints. Alright, so this one says not Gilliam, uh, you know, referring to, of course, Terry Gilliam, uh, notable director and ex-Monty Python member. He's the guy who did all the crazy cartoons in Monty Python. All right, so let's look at this one that is not a film by Terry Gilliam. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> nice uh, local newspaper, I'm guessing. So many uses for newspaper. Use it to wrap things. It's the Edmonton Examiner. Use it to wrap things. You can, I don't know, read it. <laughs> Use it as kindling. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, hey, I have never seen this movie before. We have King Arthur, the director's cut. Yeah, so that'll go nicely with my uh, swords and sorcery kind of collection here. So, directed by Antoine Fuqua, 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 <laughs> and produced by Jerry Bruckheimer, so you know it's going to have lots of action, adventure, thrills, and chills. From the producer of Pearl Harbor and the director of Training Day, oh, okay, I have seen Training Day, uh, the extended director's cut of King Arthur explodes onto Blu-ray disc in a blaze of hard-hitting action and glory not seen in theaters. 
Prepare for unsurpassed thrills as history's greatest legend, le legend <laughs> roars to life in this astonishing new format. New format? Oh, okay. When is the Blu-ray from? It is from... I swear I just saw a date on it somewhere. Uh, 2007, yeah. So when Blu-ray was only a year old. Oh, the neighbors finally turned the water off. There's there's neighbors who, I don't know, just don't know how to use their tap properly. Now it's like burning into my brain. I think I'm hearing it, but I'm not. So it's like they'll turn it, they'll be running their water or having a shower or something, and the t pipes will just be screaming. But it's a really high-pitched scream on a frequency that people like me and dogs can hear, but a lot of other people can't hear. So I don't know if they're just not hearing it or if they just don't care because they're assholes but whenever they have a shower at like two in the morning like it is now uh it's always just screaming pipes and it's really irritating anyway uh you'll probably hear me bitching about it a little bit in the outtakes at the end of this video uh so now the adventure is longer grittier and more explicit excellent i like gritty explicitness of length in this valiant tale of Arthur, Clive Owen, Guinevere, Kira Knightley, Lancelot, Yoan Grafud. Yoan Grafud, wasn't he... he? Yes, he was. That was, uh, what's his face? Uh, he was Mr. Fantastic in the Fantastic Four movie. Did they just turn the tap on? <laughs> like, oh, the squirrel. Okay. Uh, Behold the pageantry and power of every fierce battle and spectacular tiny P while swords clash and fortresses are pounded in thunderous 5.148 kilohertz 24-bit uncompressed audio. Catapult your entertainment experience into another realm. Most of this description is just talking about Blu-ray's awesome! And not so much about the movie. Uh, bonus features, we got backstage, blood on the land, forging King Arthur, King Arthur a roundtable discussion, alternate ending, Badu, Badu Hill with director's commentary, producer's photo gallery, night vision pop-up movie, uh, pop-up trivia track, movie showcase, instant access to select movie scenes that showcase the ultimate in high definition picture and sound, and seamless menus, meaning of course I guess the uh, you know pop-up menus or whatever that you can bring up while you're watching the film. Awesome. So I've never seen this. I've always been a big fan of uh, Excalibur. So if we take a look there. Nice disc art there. And in a in an eco pack, which we all love so much because we're so eco-conscious, aren't we? Um, yeah, so I've always been a big fan of the, just the King Arthur story in general. I mean, it's one of the all-time great stories. But I've never seen that version of it. So thank you very, very much. I'm definitely going to enjoy uh, checking that out. Okay, so let's see what else we got here. We got... Oh, here we go. I have a pack o stuff. Ah, oh, and this one apparently is Gilliam. Now, I wasn't expecting a bunch of Gilliams. I was expecting maybe one. <laughs> so let's see what we got here in the package of Gilliam. I'm not Scottish at all. And I'm sure all my Scottish viewers are cringing at my horrible accent. So I'll just stop that right now and, and go back to being Canadian, eh? Like, totally Canadian. Okay, I don't want to see what everything is here, so let's just go from top to bottom here. Okay, so we'll pick this one first. We have... Oh, cool. Yeah, I have never seen this one either. We have the Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus. Excellent. Is this the one with, uh... Yeah, this is the one that Heath Ledger was working on, uh... Shortly before he passed away, wasn't it? So this this could very well be his last film. Wow. Holy mo... See, now, okay, this is... <laughs> this is how classy Terry Gilliam is versus how class-less Warner Brothers was with the Dark Knight release. A lot, one thing a lot of people complained about with the Dark Knight Blu-ray release was that there was like nothing about Heath Ledger as the Joker. Like no memorial or retrospective or you know archival on-set interviews or anything really with Heath Ledger on that. It's like they just completely glossed over the fact that he died during production. Um, but when Heath Ledger died, I remember Terry Gilliam talking about it uh, because he'd also been working on this at the time and saying how you know it was a real shame and that he was really 
you know, he'd really kind of found his place and was, was incredibly talented. And he said, you know, he really has the potential to be huge and, uh, you know, even to be a, a director and stuff like that. And he was really just all praise for Heath Ledger. Um, so I just noticed glancing over the bonus features here that, uh, you know, Terry Gilliam and whichever studio this was, I'm not even sure, E1 Entertainment, um, made sure to make mention of Heath Ledger uh, in sort of retrospective in the extras here. So here we have, uh, we'll just quickly get, I don't even know what this movie is about, so let's just quickly read the um, description here. It says, Enter a dazzling world of fantasy in the imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus, Parnassus Director Terry Gilliam, yeah, can't talk tonight. Director Terry Gilliam's magical adventure tale starring Heath Ledger in his last film role. Uh, yeah, it is. It's actually uh, after um, Dark Knight Returns. Well, I guess he was doing it around the same time. It's kind of concurrently. But, uh, yeah, along with Christopher Plummer, Johnny Depp, Colin Farrell, and Jude Law. In exchange for extraordinary powers, Dr. Parnassus, uh, Christopher Plummer, excuse me, makes a deal with the devil to turn over any child of his when they turn 16. But as his daughter Valentina's, uh, Lily Cole, birthday approaches, a mysterious stranger, Ledger, arrives with the power to change everything. In this captivating, explosive, and wonderfully imaginative race against time, Dr. Parnassus must fight to save his daughter in a never-ending landscape of surreal obstacles and undo the mistakes of his past once and for all. Well, that sounds awesome. Yeah, Terry Gilliam really, he, he's kind of um, kind of like a Tim Burton kind of director in a way, um, in, in that his stuff is very wildly imaginative and unique. I mean, he really has a unique vision that no other director is anything like, and um, just some fantastic stuff. And, and sadly, I've seen very few of his actual independent movies i've seen a few of them like uh, brazil of course i think i only saw the hollywood version of brazil though um i don't think i've seen the uh the uncut version i had my eye on that three disc uh, criterion one for a very long time which has both cuts and a whole pile of extras um and the other one of course i saw was uh, time bandits and then of course i've seen all the monty python films which he directed parts of anyway uh, so yeah, in terms of bonus features, we have go deep into Terry go deep into Terry Gilliam's imaginative world. Deleted scene with optional commentary by Terry Gilliam. Heath Ledger wardrobe test with picture in picture commentary by Terry Gilliam. Building the monastery behind the mirror. Heath Ledger and friends. Heath Ledger interview. The Imaginarium of Terry Gilliam. The drunk multi-angle featurette. Doctor Parnassus around the world. Cast and crew at the London premiere. The artwork of Dr. Parnassus, uh, feature introduction by Terry Gilliam, feature commentary with director Terry Gilliam, and described audio for the visually impaired. Well, that's awesome. See, now, that's great. There's a pile of stuff about Heath Ledger on here, which is terrific, uh, because he certainly deserves some recognition, not only for his fine work, but for his untimely passing. Okay, so there's still more in here. Oh, no, we're not done yet. I haven't looked at the rest of them. All right, and ah, this one, actually, yeah, this one I have seen as well. I didn't even realize this was a Terry Gilliam movie. We have the Brothers Grimm, another one with good old, good old Heath Ledger in it. Yeah, so we have Matt Damon and Heath Ledger. Uh, this one I have seen, and I, I really like this one a lot. And I actually wanted to see it again. Uh, Once upon a time, Will and Jake Grimm, Damon and Ledger, dazzle small towns with their imaginative folklore and elaborate illusions. When the brothers journey into a real enchanted forest, they encounter many of the fantastic characters and thrilling situations found in their beloved fairy tales. Yeah, it basically, it's the story of, of the brothers Grimm going on this adventure and encountering all of these like real-life fantastical characters that then become the inspiration for you know, their fairy, fairy tales and everything. So it's kind of, it's kind of like a, a, you know, almost like a tongue for plant planted firmly in cheek kind of uh, origin story for the, uh, the, you know, the famous Grimm's fairy tales that we know. And uh, a lot of fun for anybody who grew up with those fairy tales, which is probably everybody. <laughs> so in terms of bonus features, we have audio commentary with director Terry Gilliam, deleted scenes with optional audio commentary, the visual magic of the Brothers Grimm, and instant access to select movie scenes that showcase the ultimate in high-definition picture and sound. Must be another early uh, Blu-ray release. No, oh, 2008. Early-ish, I guess. Awesome. 
So who who else is in this? Does it say? I can't quite read. Uh, Matt Damon, Heath Ledger, Peter Stormare, Lena Headey, Jonathan Price, and Monica Bellucci. Awesome. Very cool. I'm definitely going to enjoy checking that one out again. I haven't seen it for quite a while. And I don't even know if I actually saw the whole thing. I know Annetta had it on DVD a while back. And um, I watched most of it. But I, I don't honestly remember if I watched the whole thing or not. Well, now I can. Thank you very much. All right. Last one here. We have... Ah, yes. This is another one I've seen, which I also forgot was his. <laughs> I'm just a terrible Terry Gilliam fan, aren't I? We have 12 Monkeys, yes. Um, I was really late to the 12 Monkeys party. A lot of my friends uh, were just gaga about it when it came out and said, oh, you got to see it, you got to see it. And um, I eventually did see it on DVD, uh, which I don't have anymore. Um, but that's okay, because you just sent me the Blu-ray, which is even better. So... Yeah, awesome. No, this is this is really cool. And uh, actually, in particular, I really like Brad Pitt in this as the you know sort of crazy, wacky, nut job character, uh, kind of a different kind of character for him, which is great. Uh, so here, for those who don't know, for the three of you who don't know what Twelve Monkeys is about, here you go. Uh, Cole, played by Bruce Willis, is sent back in time to save the human race from a deadly virus that forced mankind into dank and underground communities in the future. Along his travels, he encounters a psychiatrist, Madeline Stowe, and a... Oh, excuse me, it's late. And a mental page, patient... <laughs> a mental patient, brilliantly portrayed by Brad Pitt, who may hold the key to the mysterious rogue group, the Army of the Twelve Monkeys, thought to be responsible for unleashing the killer disease. Believing he can obtain a pure virus sample in order to find a cure in the future, he is met with one riddle after another that puts him in a race with time. This sci-fi masterpiece from the genius mind of Terry Gilliam is a modern-day classic. And then, additional features. We have feature commentary with director Terry Gilliam and producer Charles Roven. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm not bored. I'm just tired. It's been a long day. Uh, the Hamster Factor and Other Tales of Twelve Monkeys and the Twelve Monkeys Archive. I think that's everything that was on the DVD as well. So, very cool indeed. Alrighty, we'll just put that there. So we got a nice trilogy of Gilliam. A gilliam -G ter ter Yeah, whatever. And King Arthur. Awesome. So, let's take a look at the letter, shall we? Sean! Sarah and I right. Here, uh. <laughs> here, and the second. Okay, here are a few Blu-rays for you to enjoy. As I said, I noticed you were lacking in the Terry Gilliam selection. Oh, excuse me. So here are three titles to help you along into some wonderful and demented territory. These are wrapped in the package marked Gilliam, quite obviously, yes. The second package is a movie I think you might be interested in based on your comments on Centurion. It's a bit cheesy at times, but I think it's got some solid performances from the principals and some great battles. I hope you enjoy it. Keep on rocking in the free world, my fellow Canuck. Best regards, Neil. God, I'm just yawning uncontrollably. YouTube username, Neil Murray Gray. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Neil Murray Gray. I will absolutely enjoy those, and uh, they're very, very welcome additions to the to ye old Blu-ray collection. Um yeah, that's fantastic. So, two that I've never seen, one that I've basically seen once on DVD, and one that I've seen only most of. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely going to enjoy all three of those. And I, I do notice, I guess I should show you everything here, uh, the Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus does have the slip cover, very sexy, you know, I love me some slip cover action, and there is the case there and we'll take a look inside and we have the disc and some there's some artwork underneath as well no not really there we go and then some artwork on the side there under the eco pack ness okay so i'll put that back away i'll just quickly show you all the 
the packaging. I realized I went over the extras, but I didn't show you anything. So there, of course, is uh, 12 Monkeys. I'm sure most of you have seen 12 Monkeys, and if not, well, see 12 Monkeys. Oh, yeah, this is the, must be a Universal release, because I've been watching a lot of Universal stuff lately, and I noticed they do all their Blu-rays with just boring, plain labels like that. Like, come on, Universal, put some effort in, why don't you? Anyway, whatever. Uh, and then, of course, we got the Brothers Grimm. And we cracked that one open. See, that's nicer. This is Alliance. Alliance actually puts some nice color disc art on their discs. And that's that's quite nice. And then this, uh, and then the artwork underneath is actually just the reversible cover. So it's actually the same cover. The difference is this is primarily English, with French as the secondary language. This is primarily French with English as the secondary language. So there you go. Gotta love a nice Canadian release. Oh, alrighty, for for only four items, uh, this has been a pretty long package opening, but I did yawn a lot. <laughs> that extended it by at least 12 minutes right there. Alrighty, well, thanks again, Neil. Definitely appreciate the additions to the collection and I will most definitely enjoy those. So thank you very, very much my fellow Canuck. Alrighty, that is it for me to you for now, folks. So until next time, thanks for watching, and sayonara. It be package opening time. Somebody's using their screaming tap. Well, hopefully that'll stop soon. I don't even know if that's picking up. Anyway, okay. Here we go. Good lord, just twist the tap a little bit so it's not screaming in the pipes! There's one thing that's a huge pet peeve with me. It's people who don't know how to use a fucking tap properly. It's like they turn it so it's just like, it's like, how can you not hear that? How is that not driving you crazy? <sighs> Whatever. Let's do it. Let's go. Uh, <sighs> forgot to turn the monitor around. There. And those pipes are screaming even louder now. Just turn it off.